Quick video walk around on our 2023 Hideout 176BH. Uh, this is going to be stock number 1825. Uh, that is a demonstration unit and as I said, it does have that lithium battery that I mentioned to you. But ultimately this is a demo unit so it does have a couple wear and tear points to it which I'm going to try my best to point out. Uh, the unit ultimately is going to have uh, manual landing jacks with manual corner stabilizers. This is a single axle but it does have a 10 feet power awning, uh, solid steps on the entrance, um, and we do have a spare tire there in the back and LED lights in the awning. Um, we do have a bumper on it so you do have the possibility of uh, putting a sewer hose in it, backup camera prepped as well as rear ladder prepped, but ultimately most importantly the unit does have a fully walkable roof. On the driver's side, we do see our tankless hot water system by Gerard. Uh, this is new for 2023, as well as that solar panel 200 watts up top there. Um, in the back, uh, we are going to see our third manual stabilizer in the corner and a little bit of our uh, disposal station here in the back. Um, we do see that this cord is self-contained, um, so it is going to be a 30 amp camper since it does have one AC, but uh, the cord itself is stored right above the sticker there. The slide out is going to be a corded slide out, which is very, very good for the conditions uh, in Winnipeg. I had absolutely no problem opening this up at this uh, temperature. And we do see here um, that charger controller that is part of the standard solar panel package and an inverter prep meaning that all of your outlets are already prepped for um, an inverter to be added to the unit if you did wish to upgrade a solar panel. The solar panel package that I presented you as we discussed is going to be enough to upkeep that fridge considering that it does have that lithium battery with it. Uh, we see here our AC, uh, there's roof mounted 13,500 BTUs AC. We do have our RV queen bed in the front, some storage underneath it. We see that this unit does not have any carpet in it, which is very nice and it does present accordion blinds throughout the unit. Tons of windows, uh, the light color in the cabinetry definitely allows for a very open concept feel to it. Um, this is with the slide out out. Our dinette does turn into a bed and we see here a little bit of our kitchen with seamless countertops. Um, we do have a solid hardwood uh, cabinetry fronts here um, and here is that inverted outlet as part of the solar panel package. There is a couple throughout the unit. Um, we do see that this unit does have that 10 cubic feet 12 volt refrigerator that is paired up very nicely with that Solar 200 Flex um, solar panel package um, and uh, your generator would just be upkeeping that battery so that uh, you can utilize uh, the battery more often whenever the solar panel package is not being able to feed into that battery. Um, two burner stove top and a hood range as part of it are two single bunks here in the back and we do see our tank gauges and our battery gauge. Above that we have the tankless hot water system uh, monitor where you just set the temperature and you have hot water and you do have your manual thermostat above that as well. Full walk-in shower with skylights is very nicely finished. Uh, we do have a vent with the fan, medicine cabinetry, sink, some storage underneath it in our toilet so this is a three-piece bathroom. Um, inverted outlet right beside our sink and our medicine cabinetry is super super nice as well a um, little bit of storage underneath the sink the hideouts do feature a very good insulation package in them it does have a fully enclosed and heated underbelly as well as insulation throughout the walls and and part of the slide out it is also worth to mention that the bunks are going to have a 300 pounds maximum load capacity to them and that this is going to be a full 8 feet wide unit. If you have any questions let me know but otherwise thank you for watching.